Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already shared with you how you can insert this data with using that uh, query builder and that is our um, ORM. That means the eloquent ORM and also I uh, shared both of this way. So right now better I want to do and to make it as a comment out. That is our query builder and now I want to open it with our eloquent ORM. Okay, that is our eloquent ORM. So it's also successfully work as I told you before. So right now I want to do, I want to actually get all that our data. I have already insert all the data. So now I want to do, I want to get all the data and visible this data in our particular this area. So how can do that work? So if you want to do that work, they have the two type you can do it. You can use that eloquent ORM, you can use that query builder. So I will show both of this. So first of all, I want to work with this eloquent ORM. So when you're working with this eloquent ORM, we'll need our model, right? And also this page, that means here I have loaded one of the page. So this page I have loaded. If you go to our category controller, into the category controller, you can see I have already created one of the method as a all cat method. And here I return our view, admin, catalog, and the index page. So here we have to do, we have to pass this data. Right, we have to pass all the tower category data from our database and then we have to load it. So here we have to do we have to work in particular this method area as a all cat. So now I want to do I want to first of all use that eloquent ORM. So here I want to do I want to take one of the variable. I want to take one of the variable as a categories. Okay, I name it as a categories or whatever you want. So now after that, we have to do, we have to add our model, right? So I have already loaded our model as a category model. So with this category model, I want to do, I want to get all that our data. So if you want to get all the data here, you have to do with this category model. I want to do, I want to add our all data. So that will be our all data. So I take all that our data and take the things with this variable. Now we have to do, we have to pass all that our categories data in our this index space. So if you want to pass it, what exactly you have to do? I have already discussed about that things with your friend. Here you have to do, you have to pass it with the compact, right? So that is the compact and with this compact, into the compact area, I want to do, I want to pass our all the data. So I have already take all that our data, take the things with this variable here, I have to pass it. So now we can actually use it, right? So now we can actually use our this uh, categories data. That means this categories data in our this index space. So now go to our index space. So that is our admin category and the am index. So into the view. So that is a view admin category and into the category that is our index space. So into the index space here, I want to do and to visible it, right? So here I want to visible it. So first of all, I want to do, I want to update this portion. So here I want to display that serial number. I want to display that category name, category name. That will be as a category name. And also I want to display that username. Okay, username, that means the user and the created at. Perfect. So after that, that is our for loop. So here we have to do, do we have to add that for each, right? I hope you already remembered that part. We have, I have already discussed about that things with you. So now simple work. Simply, I want to do, I want to add that as a for loop, as a for each. That means the for each and with the for each from here, I have already passed it. I have passed this our categories, right? I take that data with this variable, all that our category data. So now I take it as a category. So now I want to do and to assign it as a as category or whatever you want. You can also make it as a row. I name it better as a category. Okay, that will be as a category. So now with this category, you can actually display all that our data. And also we have to do, we have to end it. That means we have to end our for each as an and for each. Okay, I end it. So now first of all, I want to do and to visible our category name. So now with this category, so here, okay, so here with this category, I want to visible our field name for the category name. I have already declared that our field name, our field name will be as a category name, right? So if you go to that structure, and into this structure, that is our category name, I copy it. So I want to display our category name. And also with this category, okay, better I copy it. So with this category, I want to do and to visible our another authenticated username. So authenticated user, that means that is actually our user ID. So friend, right now it should be actually display our user ID as a one. That means 
you can see that is all that one literally i will create one of the relationship with our another table as a user table and from to the user table i want to get this data so how we can create some of the relation with two of this table literally i will also show you so right now i also want to display our user id our user id field data will be visible and then also i want to visible our created that that means here better I copy it I copy it and it should be our field name our field name as a created at right so now I want to do I want to add this our created created underscore at okay perfect so that's all you have to do so now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go here and refresh it yes you can see it's not perfectly getting all that our category our user as, as i told you friend literally i will create some of the relation with our another table that means with, that is our user id it should be redacted create some of the relation with our this user table and when our id will be matched then i get this name so how can create that relation i will show you that things later so don't worry about it everything is step by step i will show you okay so right now uh, that is our category name is perfectly visible our user id visible and the character created ad is visible so, so for this car here i have used that our query builder so you can see the query builder is not created any date and also there is a serial number so if you want to add that serial number i think you already know about it see here you have to do you have to add one of the php so i name it as a php and if the php area i want to do i want to take one of the variable i take variable as i and then i make it as a it started it should be started from to the one and here here i want to do i want to actually add it right so if you want to add it then you have to do you have to add it with this variable this variable will be as a plus plus that's all I'll click as a save all now refresh it yeah you can see it's not perfectly updated right and also if you want to change the date format you can change the date format as i told you friend before so that is another function there is another function as a drift for humans okay drift for humans so if you use that function then automatically our this created date format will be changed now click as a save all and now if you go and refresh it now you can see friend it's now showing some of the error it's showing this error as a is not is null okay there is a null because of all if you go here you can see for this card they have no created add date so for the reasons actually it's uh, getting this error so if you want to um, if you want to actually remove it it's very much easy one of the function i want to add that means one of the condition i want to add uh, here okay that means that is actually the td so I want to do I want to add one of the if condition so I simply add another if condition if our I want to do if our category that means with this category okay with this category I want to access our this category at with this category I want to access our this category at so I want to put this kind of type of condition when it should be equal equal null then it should be display one of the another message rather than it should be display all that our um, this our direct date format okay so here I want to put this type of one of the condition so when our with this category I want to access our this database field that means that is our database field as a created at when it should be okay when it should be as a equal equal null that means when it should be as a null okay that means when this field is empty then it should be show some of the message so i want to do i want to add some of this pen better okay i add that span and i close that span i hope friend you enjoy it very much so if you know that very main core functionality how much easy it is you can say so i add one of this pen class I want to add another spin class and into the spin class I want to make it as a text gen danger okay danger so that will be as a text danger and here it should be display as a no uh, dot date okay no date um, set so this type of one of the message it should be display and else else it should be display our previous one that means else else it should be display our this one okay and also make that sure you and that our f condition so i and it as a and if condition perfect 
so friend that's all you have to do now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you refresh it yeah you can see when they have the any date it will be displayed that date format and when they have null then it will be displayed this message how much easy it is how much is it some of the small condition so that is the one of the small condition when our category field and then with this category i access our this category add field when this field is empty it will be displayed this message and else it will be displayed our default one okay that means all the date formatted data will be visible and then i simply add if perfect so here it's now successfully display all the data from our database and also that is the ascending and the descending order like here if you now create new one okay if you create new category if you click as the add category here you can see this category is inserted into the last so here if you want to make it as a fast then you can also make it so for doing this you have to do you have to update your controller that means into the controller that is our category i get all that our data so if you want to get that latest product then here you have to do you have to change it so here you have to add that latest okay latest that means the latest one will be show in our fast and then i want to do want to get this data that means right now our latest data will be display into the fast and every condition will be the same okay you get this data latest data into the fast and it will be get this data with this variable here i compact it and then it will be display in our index page that means here it will be display now let's check this out if you now click as a save all so here i have updated our latest data now everything will be very clear to you click as a refresh yes you can see friend that is our fast data i have already inserted right so you can see there is our fast data as a 58 second ago there is a 32 minute there is a 33 so our last data is now visible in our fast area so friend here i get all the data with using that eloquent orm so how can get this data with using that um, query builder in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video